Hey, what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome back to Fatal. Yes, you heard it right. We are back again with the uploads and also with this series, which I absolutely love. It is a team of the year, Fatal, this time around. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my team, which YouTubers are participating. And also, I'm going to be showing you guys the first two games. So hopefully you guys are excited. But first of all, I'm going to be showing you the YouTubers which are participating in, uh, in this season of Fatal. We, of course, have the host. We have Bateson, who decided to go with team of the year, Suarez. Then uh, we have Marshall89HD, who went with Suarez as well. We got DJ Mario and Nepenthes both went with team of the year. Ronaldo, we got Itani who went with Messi, we got Polo who went with Tony Kroos, then we got the Spin Bros, they went with Lionel Messi and Cacho who went with Ronaldo as well. Then we move on to myself, I decided to actually go with Andres Iniesta, um, then we got Zwayback who also went with Suarez, we got Maverick Wolves, they went with uh, uh, Modric, uh, then we have Nick, he went with Lionel Messi, we have Tobalink and Jay Tunes, they both went with Iniesta as well, and then to finalize it off you have Lasty and FDA FIFA, they went with Luka Modric too, so um, yeah, those are all the YouTubers, links can be found in the description down below, so make sure to follow them as well if you want to see how they progress uh, through this fatal. In terms of the rules, I'm not going to go over them. You can just pause the video if you want to and read them because, um, yeah, I think that most of you guys do know the rules by now and how it all works and stuff, even though they actually have changed slightly. Uh, moving on to the team. This is the team I went with for triple two formation and our player, of course, is team of the year, Iniesta. I actually had the opportunity to, uh, to pick Ronaldo as well and some others too, some better players. But uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to afford those players. So I went with the cheapest one. That was Iniesta. And um, I actually used him as well in the previous Fatal in FIFA 16. His international man of the match. And I really liked him. So um, yeah, I'm happy uh, happy to use him. Actually using him as a striker to uh, to actually get the most out of him, I think, in terms of scoring goals. But anyway, um, we start off with the team. As you can see, it is mostly uh, from the Serie A and also the Serie B. And, of course, some Liga BBVA stuff as well. It has a decent defense with a decent pace. Um, as the uh, midfielders, we do have a four-star skiller here in Munir. I actually could have put him as a striker too. But as I mentioned, I uh, decided to put in yesterday to see how he actually performs right there. Then uh, we have got this guy, uh, Fausto, also from uh, the Liga BBVA. We've got a pretty decent Italian center mid in uh, Sala with some uh, pretty nice, well-rounded stats for a center mid. Uh, then we move on to the other two players, the final two ones. They are very pacey. We have uh, Sao. Um, I think Itani used to use him back in the day in FIFA 14 or something, FIFA 15 a lot. And uh, we have uh, Farias as well there. Four-star skiller Brazilian in form. He decided to uh, put him as a striker. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much a team. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. But, um, yeah, anyway, right now we are going to go in what will be the first game for me in two months. Because in the time I was away, I hadn't played FIFA apart from a little bit of career mode. But I mostly just simulated the games. And, um, yeah, we get up against a really strong team already. Serie A side, some Bundesliga players. And we messed up immediately. He went through here with Dybala. And I was like, oh, my God, seriously. Am I going to screw this up already? But uh, a great save there from the keeper. Even though the shot wasn't that great either, I have to be honest. Uh, then moving on here, we got a uh, chance here with Sao. I have to say as well that the game was really laggy. You will see it in the upcoming clips. Um, before I actually went into this game, I saw that the latency bar was red. But it seriously took me so long to find a game that actually had green connection. I just decided to... Uh, to, to go into this game because I was kind of short on time uh, because I'm actually going on a little holiday on a little ski trip with some friends uh, so um, yeah that's also why I had to like play these games uh, a little bit earlier than usual but um, yeah we did get some great chances uh, but his goalkeeper was in the way and the lag was, uh, wasn't really helping me either. So, um, yeah, moving on, 30 segment, another chance with Farias. Uh, we take the shot there with a weaker foot. We get tackled at the end. Unfortunately, we didn't get the penalty. Then moving on a few minutes later, a great pass there from Iniesta. Uh, this time to Sao. I actually wanted to pass it back. I pressed A, but again, due to the lag, it just wouldn't allow me. And, um, yeah, these were the halftime stats. We were kind of dominating chances-wise. Yeah, a little bit more possession, but... Yeah, it was just really, really difficult to play. Uh, into the second half we go. A few minutes in, another chance here. Want to go with a low cross to Iniesta where uh, we couldn't reach him. We set a lot of pressure here in the midfielder. We pick it up with Iniesta. A few skill moves to create some space. We do get a shot in. A cross call just went wide. And another chance there for us uh, which, uh, which didn't go in. The 60th minute, he went on one of his first runs with Dybala after he had a huge chance at the start of the game. And because of the lag, seriously, I just I just couldn't defend him. He went with zigzag dribbling and stuff, and it was just way too difficult for me. And he scored the 1-0. Frustrating goal. 
especially since we were kind of dominating. Then uh, a few minutes later he messed up and I messed up as well. I just should have gone with a chip shot instead uh, of a normal shot because the goalkeeper saved it. And um, yeah, that just should have been uh, the 1-1 the in my opinion. Then uh, 69th minute, they're going through with Fabias very strong on the ball. We hit the goddamn post, another huge chance. And uh, that's how it kind of would go on for us in the game. And for my opponent, it... Uh, it actually went way better. You can see here as well. Second chance in the second half. Outside foot shot with Gomez makes it 2-0. And uh, we go down 60k. So, yeah. The first game for us wasn't that amazing. Even though we had a bunch of chances. I just couldn't score really. Yeah, straight from kickoff too. Some great skill was despite the lack here with Farias. The 90th when I tried my best. He actually went with the offside trap. But um, despite that, we, uh, we still couldn't score. And that's unfortunately how that game ended. So uh, first loss, we lost 60k. So if we lose the next game, we uh, we aren't able to upgrade any players. So um, I knew I had to do my best and I knew I had to find a decent game when it comes to connection because I didn't want to play another game with, uh, with a lot of lag. So we go into the second game. We come up against a Japanese side with a lot of silvers, a few golds and also a few bronze players. So um, yeah, a bit of a unique team, I think, to come up against. And uh, my opponent started off with a chance. Then we got a chance here too with Salah on midfield. A nice bicycle kick. Uh, the finish wasn't really that great. Then at 26 minutes, he goes through it with Miyaichi. A fantastic save there for my goalkeeper. I already counted it as a goal, but uh, he definitely uh, saved us right there. Then he gets himself another chance for very close. Uh, he hits the post. And uh, at the very end, we managed to defend it quite well with our defenders. So uh, we got quite lucky in the first half. Then we move on 38th minute. Farias here going through. He gets felt from behind. And I thought this was inside the box and it was going to be a red card. But it was the complete opposite. The referee actually gave a free kick and a yellow card. And you can see from the replay, he actually, like, he actually hit him inside the box. He started a tackle outside the box. So that probably was the reason. But... Um, yeah, I felt it should have been a, uh, a penalty because he didn't touch him outside the box, which was a weird, bit weird. But um, nevertheless, it was quite even first half, if you look at the stats. Then into the second half we go, we uh, do get a shot in here with Iniesta, which the goalkeeper saved. Then we picked up a corner, and then look at this. He gets it with the goalkeeper, he drops the ball, and then I don't know why he decided to drop the ball, but we get it, and we actually score for an open net with, uh, with our uh, Spanish midfielder, I think, the Spanish CDM. And um, yeah, I was uh, I was a bit confused, like why he did it at the first place, because yeah, I mean there were it was so crowded right there, and yeah, I just I just didn't really get it. But um, yeah, we make it one 0 Then uh, we get another chance, a bit of tiki taka play with Iniesta, couldn't finish it off. We pick up another corner, we cross it in a terrible cross, but the goalkeeper got it again, and again he did the exact same thing, again. So many players were there, and then I just just spammed B seriously, and uh, it managed to uh, to go in as well. So that meant we were two nil up. We uh, we covered ourselves from the previous game since we actually lost two nil. We lost sixty k. So um, yeah, I was quite happy with the result so far. And at this point, I thought my opponent was going to rage quit. Unfortunately, though, he decided not to. And um, yeah, you can see he actually decided to drop his controller. And at first, I didn't really know what to do. Um, I messaged Bateson on uh, on Skype and uh, he told me that I was able to score three goals uh, when my opponent dropped his controller. So that's what I decided to do. Obviously, he wanted to score with Iniesta and it was actually really difficult to do. You can see at the time, we're already in the 80th minute and I only had scored one goal with Iniesta. So um, yeah, this is his second goal. We're actually up 160k right now and uh, this is going to be his third goal, his hat-trick. And uh, that meant we ended up taking the lead in this game with 5-0. But after we scored that goal, my opponent decided to play again. And again, I didn't know what to do. So I messaged Bateson and Bateson told me that I just had to count it as a normal game, basically. So that's what I decided to do. My opponent decided to just remain time-wasting uh, at, uh, at his own uh, box, basically. But uh, we managed to get the ball back and actually scored a 6-0 with uh, Farias to uh, give us uh, some more coins. And uh, after that, he decided to time-waste again. So I set a lot of pressure with my players and uh, we scored another goal. A bit of a weird one here. Um, I think with Sao or with Farias again. I think it was Farias. We completely fouled the goalkeeper, but uh, it was allowed, apparently. Uh, the 90th minute, one more chance we had, uh, again, time-wasting for my opponent, but uh, look at this for a goal. I mean, <laughs> I, I seriously laughed my ass off when I saw this one. I mean, like, look at the goalkeeper. He just points it into his own net. I mean, for me, coming back to FIFA after two months of not playing, first a really laggy game and then this weird, weird game as well. I mean, it was just uh, the perfect kind of way to describe how FIFA is, I guess. But anyway... 
we end up winning 8 to 0. We scored a hat trick with Iesta, and uh, that meant we uh, we got a bunch of coins. And you can see right there, top right, we managed to collect 240k in total if we uh, deduct the losses from the first game. So um, yeah, the pairs I'm going to be showing you guys are the following ones. Uh, pair one is going to be the squad building challenge version of Douglas Costa and inform Thiago. I didn't know Thiago actually had an inform, so uh, I was happy when I actually uh, saw him. Uh, two five-star skillers. And pair two is going to be a bit more expensive. We have Griezmann and also an Zonzi, the informed version of him. So uh, let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with. Pair one is a bit cheaper compared to pair two. So if you want to use like all the coins, then I would suggest going with pair two. But if you want to go with skills, then I would suggest going with pair one. But anyway, that's going to be the end, guys. Um, I will leave two comments in the comments down below, which you can vote on. That is the way we're going to be deciding which pair we're going to be adding to the team in the next episode. But anyway, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.